Welcome to the June edition of Makers Creative Collab. This month's theme is Old is New, and the format was a three-item exchange. I sent three items to Christy Hartman, and she sent three to me. I received the following. I received this lovely card, a stack of printed papers, gel press printed on text white paper, rice paper, tissue paper, a stencil that she utilized to create these prints, some of these prints, and I have this to work with in my project. I chose to make some copies, so I made some copies to make sure I had backup in case I messed anything up. Plus, I like the paper so much that I wanted some to put in my stash. My name is Peg. Let me tell you who I am before I get started. I have been super busy this year and haven't participated in the collabs from January through June. I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to join some of these very creative ladies in this month's rendition. This is what I created. I've shown you what I received from Christy, and she sent me some wonderful things. I love the stencil. I love the papers that she had stenciled and the tissue that she had stenciled and sent me. I did use the stencil a lot, and I would highly recommend you check that out. I believe that is for sale on PM Artist Studio site, the Sunflower Stencil designed by Christy. It's a great stencil. Unfortunately, I packed it. Um, this whole um, challenge came at a time when I was packing my studio and moving, I packed it up and I haven't got to that box yet. I'm still unpacking. I'm still moving in. So there's there's a lot of things still going on. And the initial paper that I did utilize that stencil for and create with, I, I decided not to use because I wasn't happy with my color choice. So with that said, I do encourage you to take a look on PM Artist Studio site and take a look at Christie's stencil. I think that you will like it and will really enjoy it. And I showed it to you previously. But what I did for this particular challenge is I used paper that she sent me. The cover of this little sketch notebook is the gel print that Christie had sent me. I love the richness, the depth of the color, the browns, the golds, the greens, the teals that I, you know, see popping through here are just really one of the color screams that I love so much. So I chose to use this as the outside of this book cover. I have bound this book together with um, some sketches that I had done when everything was packed up. I was trying to find something to do, so I thought I'd teach myself how to, to sketch, and I've been working on it. I'm not very good, but you know, that's all a learning process. So that's how we learn is by doing it every day. This is a sunflower that I had sketched out and I just put it on a piece of chipboard. You can see the chipboard on the back. I have a little uh, charm that I made out of shrink plastic of two little bugs. The sunflower, this is uh, lingerie lace, lace that you would buy to utilize if you were sewing lingerie, which is something that I never do, so I purchased it for this specific purchase. I put a few uh, liquid pearls on the back of it, and where I stapled it together, I wrapped some canvas and put a few liquid pearls there. Makes a great little book closure, so I think this can be used for lots of things. You can sketch um, photos that you have, uh, clip art that you download, uh, pattern paper that you use, gel press prints that you make. Just adhere them to the chipboard, um, punch a few holes in it, and run your elastic through it. And you can do it horizontal like this or vertical like this. It makes a great closure for the book. So we'll set that aside. This is the um, 
gel press print that Christy sent me and once again I do love it I used it as a cover and then she had sent me that sheet of tissue paper I put it on my copy machine on text white paper and used it for the inside cover of this book so I really liked the way that turned out and I filled it with just sketch paper sketch paper that I can tuck inside here it will come in and out because I closed it with a piece of elastic so the signature can pop right out of there pop right back in there and it was it was kind of funny that she had sent me all of the sunflowers and I in trying to learn to sketch I had been working on sunflowers so I created these little uh, paper clips and just little covered paper clips and I put a little grommet in the end. I think there's two or three videos online that show you how to do this. I can't remember who I've seen that does it, but I don't think I did it exactly the way they did it because I couldn't find the video and I couldn't remember who I saw it from. But I wanted to create kind of a hidden paper clip to put my little sketches inside this book. So I made three of those out of the papers that Christy sent me. And I'm just using them inside this little sketchbook. So there's a couple here that I had made. And this one here. And that is pretty much all I did. I had a couple of these little shrink plastic charms that I used on the end of that elastic. It is a very simple project with the three three things that I used. I think the old is new. You know, I had this old sketchbook laying around that I've been working on trying to learn how to to sketch. I used that in a new project. I used Christie's items, uh, three items that she sent me. These paper clips have been around for years. You can see they're kind of rusted and, and nasty, but I pulled them in and used them in my my little project and there you have it. So I hope you will continue on through this challenge and take a look at what everyone produced. One of the reasons that we do this and put this content out here for you is to promote our channel. So I know I speak for myself, but I think I speak for everyone else as well. If you would please hit subscribe, subscribe to our channel. If you don't, give us a thumbs up. That helps our channels exponentially in uh, go or Google or YouTube showing them in the, the feeds. And the comments also help as well. So if you would, we would appreciate it greatly. And I hope you'll do that for each and every one of us. So thank you very much. I'll show you a few photos of the finished product and say bye for now. I would like to end this with just a quick photo montage of the easy and quick sketchbook that I created for this collab. And I hope to be back at my channel very soon, as many of you know, or those of you that subscribe and follow me that are here on this collab know that I've been off for about six weeks moving my studio. I have everything moved in getting ready for a studio tour, getting ready to get videos uploaded. I have about 10 or 15 that I have ready to edit. So I hope to see you all on a regular basis soon. And thanks for being here. And I shall say bye for now.